For 53 years, it has been no after no. Attempt number 16 got Sahan Sahan the result he wanted. Oh, my God. Senator Kennedy has been shot. The shooter convicted of murdering Robert F. Kennedy, a man many believed would be president and a progressive one. Good luck to you. Thank you. Gunned down in a busy hotel in 1968 by a Palestinian furious about his support for Israel, a crime Sahan has never denied, but says he doesn't remember. Obviously, I was there, but uh, I don't remember the exact moment. I don't remember pulling my gun uh, out of my body. Now to be freed on parole after intervention from the senator's children. Son Douglas appearing in person to say Sirhan should be released, along with another man shot on that night. The Ambassador Hotel where the murder took place was knocked down years ago, replaced with this memorial, which really highlights what that moment took from this country. The man who killed Robert Kennedy, not acquitted, but due to be released on parole. And all these years later, many still believe he wasn't even the gunman. Among them, some of Senator Kennedy's family. His son, Robert, who wrote in favour of Sahan's release, even visited him in prison, saying, I went there because I was curious and disturbed by what I had seen in the evidence. I was disturbed that the wrong person might have been convicted of killing my father. That theory that there was a second gunman, because more bullets were fired than Sahan's gun could hold, and he was facing the senator who was shot at point-blank range in the back. One medical expert telling this book's author there is... Very compelling evidence that Sir Han was in a hypnotic state at the time of the shooting and was somehow programmed to be a distraction for the real shooter who was behind, an inch behind Kennedy's right ear. Sir Han won't be freed immediately. There is a long administrative process that could take months or even see the release blocked altogether. And he's likely to be deported to Jordan because he is not a US citizen, bringing an end to one of America's most high profile and shocking criminal cases. Phil Lavelle, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.